Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. Leibniz Gap discusses the shortcomings of any possible physical explanation for the mind, suggesting that we, on examining its interior, find only parts which work one upon another and never anything by which to explain a perception. John Locke, in an essay concerning human understanding, wrote, It is impossible to conceive that matter, either with or without motion, could have originally in and from itself sense, perception, and knowledge. Isaac Newton wrote in a letter to Henry Oldenburg, to determine by what modes or actions light produceth in our minds the phantasm of color is not so easy. J.S. Mill wrote in A System of Logic concerning the explanatory gap between the physical and the mind, he writes, any theory which attempts to bring either under the laws of the other must be false. How it is that anything so remarkable as a state of consciousness comes about as the result of irritating nervous tissue is just as unaccountable as the appearance of the gene when Aladdin rubbed his lamp, quoth T. H. Huxley. Patricia Smith Churchland has famously remarked about Roger Penrose's theories concerning quantum mechanical origins for consciousness that pixie dust in the synapses is about as explanatorily powerful as quantum coherence in the microtubules. Churchland is an eliminativist or eliminative materialist. In other words, she's not a religious person. She believes, in fact, that belief, free will, and consciousness are actually merely folk psychological concepts. The point I am trying to make here, folks, is old times to now, in the modern times that we live in, at no point has anyone understood consciousness or free will. Homosexuality is a behavior. Being black or being a woman, these things are not behaviors. Your behavior is not a disease. You don't choose how you feel, but you do choose how you act. And we all sometimes struggle with our feelings. So this concept that orientation trumps choice is a lie. A lie that is being used to strip us of one of the most fundamental rights that we ever had. Religious freedom. Please reconsider your toleration for this immensely harmful philosophical development. Thank you for paying attention. Take care. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.